Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or hello if you're new. Today I'm back to the channel with another video. It's a beautiful day here in Hamilton, Ontario. And today we're going to be comparing two different sticks from completely different sides of the spectrum. What sticks are those, you might ask? A pro stock hockey stick and just a normal retail hockey stick. So the normal retail hockey stick that I'm going to use in this video to compare it with the pro stock hockey stick is the Bauer 1X Lite. The specs are 77 flex, senior Matthews curve, lie six. And this is the pro stock hockey stick that we're gonna be looking at today. It is a Chris for Stieg hockey stick. It's a covert QR1. Um, Chris for Stieg, I'm not sure if you guys know, he plays for the Calgary Flames. He's been juggled um, around a few NHL teams in the last decade, but he's a right-handed player like me. So I got lucky to pick up one of these sticks. As you can see, that's a pretty nasty toe curve. Before this video starts, before we compare these two different sticks, I want to give a big shout out to Sideline Swap for sending me this stick and making this video possible. If you want to check out their link in the description, you can do so. Um, the Sideline Swap is a hockey market for all hockey players to buy, sell, and swap their hockey equipment on the online. Um, I've been using it for over a year now. It's an awesome place to buy new things. You can buy sticks to use and save a lot of money. But but today we're going to be looking at this one in general. So uh, yeah, again, shout out to uh, Sideline Swap. Check them out if you want to. So now that's over with, let's explain what we're doing in this video. We're going to take both these sticks and challenge them in different aspects of hockey. We're going to do some shooting challenges, some accuracy challenges on the hockey setup and we'll do some stick handling just freestyle shots as well but by the end of the video I want to let you guys know basically if it's worth it to buy a pro stock hockey stick because you can save a lot of money if you purchase some of these online rather than buying a retail stick in store so some of the things that you need to know before we start this video about a pro stock hockey stick is that obviously it is um, customized by the pro who owns the stick and this is uh, Christopher Stieg's hockey stick so he has customized this stick um, height, um, curve, flex, all this stuff is completely different than what you get on the market. Everything such as I just said, flex, curve, um, it's going to fluctuate depending on what the player wants in a stick. So that's kind of the downside. If you're a type of player who likes to buy a stick off the market and you have certain specs that you want to stick to, this is kind of a downside to a pro stock hockey stick. Um, you are going to save money by buying some of these sticks, but you might lose you know, what you enjoy in a hockey stick. But today we're going to put that to the test. We're going to try on both sticks in these various challenges. I'm going to tell you guys if it's worth it to pick up a pro stock hockey stick or just to stick with the retail hockey stick. Let's get started. Let's do a few challenges. Let's go. Okay, so for the first challenge, we have four pucks, um, and we're going to go left post, crossbar, right post. We're going to see how many pucks it takes out of those four pucks to hit each of the posts in the net. Hopefully, I will only have to use three of the pucks to do it 100%, but um, we'll see what happens. This will be a good first challenge to do, first of all, because it tests your accuracy a lot. After this, we'll do a different challenge, but let's set down the camera and do this one, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll start with the pro stock hockey stick. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so we only got two for four with the pro stock hockey stick. I'm gonna try out the retail one and see what I can do. I'm 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 I'm, I'm hoping for a hundred percent here. Let's see what we get. Alright, for the next challenge, we're going to have five pucks. We're going to do a little freestyle shooting. Um, I'm going to try to aim for the top left pocket, top left target, middle target, top right target, and then top right pocket. And see how many I can hit, five and a five there. Um, other than that, we're going to be doing some stick handling as well in between shots with these five pucks. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, the uh, retail hockey stick took the cake for the first um, challenge. Let's see what can happen in the second one. All right, so we're starting with a pro stock hockey stick on this one. Shout out to my boy, Versti. Hold up, hold up. The puck came back, so I'm gonna get a second try on the last shot. 
Okay, so that challenge was definitely a lot closer. I think still the uh, retail stick took the cake and won that challenge. But again, it was really close there. Um, if not, it was very equal. But for the last challenge here, we're going to be taking five of these pucks. We're going to do slap shot, left post, wrist shot, crossbar, snap shot, right post. And then for the remaining shots, we can do any type of shot we want. Go top left, top right. So we'll see how it goes. I'm expecting five out of five, but then again, I was expecting to do better on the last challenge. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so now that I'm done shooting with both the sticks, obviously a lot of those challenges have to do with fluke and luck. But to diminish that, I want to talk about how both of them feel. And I know that's the most important aspect when choosing a hockey stick. That's how I base my decisions off when I buy a hockey stick. I go and test it out and I pick the best one based off of feel. So I want to let you guys know what I think rather than what the challenges say. Obviously on the last challenger, the Pro Stock Hockey Stick won. I think the Retail Hockey Stick only got like 3 out of 5 or even 2 out of 5. So I know a lot of it comes down to luck, which is why I want to talk about feel. Um, the first thing I noticed when using the Pro Stock Hockey Stick was that it was a lot heavier and that the shafts were a little thicker and um, more square shaped because um, it, it acts for a more durable stick and a little weight on the stick is better for these pro hockey players. A lot of the younger guys want the lightest stick they can find to you know, enhance their dangles and stuff. But when it comes to the pro level, a lot of them want a heavier stick to uh, stick check other players and have heavier slap shots and um, stuff like that. So that's one thing I did notice. This one is a little heavier and a little bulkier, which I didn't like very much because I'm used to the thinner uh, shaft and the lighter feel, which I, I myself like better. But if you're a fan of you know, taking slap shots in your defense and um, you like a heavier, stiffer stick, I would recommend trying on a pro stock hockey stick, depending on which pro that is, of course. Me, myself, I'm going to stick with the retail hockey sticks um, using the same curve and stuff since I was a kid. Um, I've really grown close to it, like I said. If you want to try out pro stock hockey sticks, I really recommend it, though, because it was a really good competitor compared to the retail hockey stick. Also, of course, if you want to save money, I would do so. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're new, and comment below what stick you thought I shot better with. Um, that's really interesting to me, and uh, I would appreciate if you could do that. Um, again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to slap the thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed, like I said, why not subscribe? It's free, and um, I would really appreciate that. But without further ado, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.